Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, so for this video I'm going to visit different cities around Cornwall and my first stop is Port Isaac. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes this fishing village is well worth a stop when traveling around Cornwall. See it for yourself. A charming and picturesque location, breathtaking cliffs and coastline walks, hills and narrow streets, boats and more boats, friendly people and lots of delicious food. In fact, was at Port Isaac where I had the best Cornish pasty that I've ever tried. Mm, definitely the highlight of visiting Cornwall. I would highly recommend a stop at Nikki B's shop. Exploring Cornwall on public transports can be a tough challenge, especially due to the fact that there are changes of services required for almost every journey, but mainly due to how time-consuming it actually is. On the bright side, there aren't that many places you wouldn't be able to get to, so here are my top tips if you are willing to explore Cornwall by public transports. Do overuse Google Maps and actually trust the recommended journeys. Spend some time planning the places you want to visit so your final route could be as easy going as possible. Purchase travel passes to get unlimited access to a specific service. Lastly, for longer journeys, do have a look into trains or early National Express services available. We have just made it now to the westernmost point of Cornwall. With over 100 acres of stunning natural beauty, Lens Hand is one of the most breathtaking coastal landscapes in the UK. A must do when visiting Lens Hand is obviously get your photo taken at the iconic signpost. However, one of the other reasons why you should visit this place is to spend some time at their attraction center where you can actually experiment for fun-filled family attractions. It's very beautiful, it all looks absolutely gorgeous, so uh, first impression is very favorable. <laughs> Pretty good, yeah. yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. There's so much to see at Cornwall. When using the Lands End coaster, you can see all the famous sites around the coastline, such as the Minak Theatre, which I actually didn't manage to see because there was a two weeks waiting list for the next available slot. So here's my heads up for booking this activity way in advance. Just off Penzance, it's time to head off to my final destination, St. Michael's Mount. Representing one of the jewels in Cornwall's crown, the island of St. Michael's Mount is where modern life meets a thousands of years of history. The tide will determine whether you will have to walk or take a boat ride to visit their medieval church, 12th century castle and subtropical terraced gardens. And this was it for Cornwall, I really hope you enjoyed this video, I see you.